Today, President Obama will announce plans to open a U.S. embassy in Cuba. But it's still hard for American citizens to fly there directly. Still, travelers from the United States will have new opportunities soon to travel to Cuba by air. Joining us now is Travel Insider Mark Murphy. He's the president and CEO of Travel Alliance Media. So talk a little bit about the ways travel in Cuba is changing and will change in the near future. So right now you can go ahead and book a trip. It's got to be under 12 guidelines. So people to people, cultural, educational. If you're a journalist like you and I can go down there, no problem. But you're on a special itinerary and it's very, very expensive. A lot of the tours are 10 to 14 days with tour operators. You spend that money to go down. So it's not a cheap trip. And while you're there, they have scheduled itineraries. You just can't go and flop on the beach. Now, listen, when we first heard about the plans to normalize mm -hmm. relations with Cuba, we heard from JetBlue and United right away, mm -hmm. oh, we're going to make plans to sure. fly to Cuba. Does that make things easier for Americans? Yeah, it, it will eventually. So right now, the, the latest news is the various GDSs, global uh, distribution systems, that allow the ticketing of air travel are going to open up ticketing for travel agencies in the U.S., including online travel agencies, to be able to book those tickets through their system. So, so in that's other words, you could, you could go maybe to Travelocity and book a flight to Cuba. Correct. Yeah, and each of the individual agencies have to be authorized to be able to do that. But that's now available. It started with Travelport, one of the GDSs. Are are there direct flights from the United States right now that charters. you could book? So just if you charters. want to go, like Apple Vacations just launched a much more valuable, a much, much cheaper trip where for about $2,700 per person, you can now go down, not spend as much time, but it's still an escorted type of trip. You're not just going down and hanging on the beach and just wandering around. They've got you on a schedule pretty much. Yeah, a lot cheaper if you just go to the next island over.